What's up guys, my name is Potato and this is the final installment of my Dragon Priest guide. If you haven't yet, make sure to go back and check out my other 8 guides so you're prepared for this one. Okay, as most of you know or don't know, there is a reason behind collecting all 8 of the Dragon Masks, and that's to unlock the mysterious ninth one. This mask is named Konarik. Now before heading out, make sure you have all 8 of your masks in your inventory and the wooden one if you picked it up earlier. If not, that's fine, we'll be going back to the same place. Remember back in the third video of the series where we went and picked up the wooden mask back in the Labyrinthium before going inside and killing Moriki? We'll head on back over there and we'll finally get some use out of that wooden mask. For those who don't remember, it's just northwest of Whiterun or southeast of Morthral. Once again, remember there are a few frost trolls that hang out here, so take them out real quick and head on into the center. Inside this little hut, go ahead and toss your wooden mask on, and you'll soon realize that your screen goes all blue and then fades away into the same area, but this time, it's super nice looking. At first glance, you'll notice a bunch of chests around, but don't get excited because all of them are empty. Yeah, I know, it sucks. Anyways, at this point, you need to place each mask into its respective slot. This is done automatically, thankfully, so all you have to do is just activate each bust. As soon as the 8th one is placed, the dragon's mouth will open up and present you with Konarik. Once it's open, you can take back all of your masks without fear of it clamping back down on Konarik. Konarik's mask has a very special ability to where when your health is low, it has a chance to heal you and damage all nearby enemies. Along with that, Konarik also starts off at a higher base armor stat compared to other masks and has some other different features. The obvious one being Tusk coming out of the mask, and the hood is now black with gold trim instead of brown with gray trim. Now another little secret about this mask that people may not know is that it has a very small chance to summon a dragon priest to come to your aid. This priest will use ice spikes as its main attack and will reanimate a nearby corpse. If there isn't a corpse nearby, it will summon a storm Atronach. In my very scientific test, I went out to see how often it would heal me. And of course by very scientific, I mean I just fought the same dragon over and over. I did a total of 14 tests with this mask. Why, why 14? Well, I, was, I wasn't really keeping track when I was doing them, and I just kind of kept going until I felt I had enough footage. The way I did this was basically just let the dragon kick my ass until I died. This is how it played out. First test, yes, then I died. Second test, yes, then I killed him accidentally. Third test, no. Fourth, no. Fifth, no. Sixth, no. Seventh, yes. Then it happened again, and then the dragon died again. Whoops. Eighth, yes, then I died. Ninth, no. Tenth, no. Eleventh, yes, then again. Then a third time with a dragon priest who summoned a storm Antrioch. Twelfth, yes, yes again. And the third time again. This time I tried testing out the flame damage that's given off by the shield, but it'll only hit your enemies once. And as you can see here, it wasn't being affected by it and then got pissed and killed me. 13th run was a yes, then I died. 14th test, I got a Dragon Priest on my first pop. This time I got a little bit more footage of it. As you can see here, he sticks around for quite some time and helps a ton. His ice spikes will actually slow down your enemies as shown here by how slow the dragon is flying. It's pretty awesome seeing your own Dragon Priest come to your side and help you out. Of the 14 tests, only six of those didn't pop on the first low health situation. That's pretty close to a 57% chance that it'll work on the first time that you're low of health. I also had a Dragon Priest who came out two of those 14 times, which is a much lower number at 14%, somewhere around there. These numbers are only based on my test, even though it was obviously super scientific and I should probably get a medal for it. This mask is pretty sweet and can be extremely helpful at times. However, I still would prefer my regular Dragon Helmet since I do love my extra percentage towards bow damage, and as light armor compared to the heavy armor that the mask is. Hope y'all enjoyed this series of Dragon Priest Masks. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to be notified of future Skyrim videos. If you have a specific guide you'd like to see me do in Skyrim, don't be shy and leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching another Skyrim Insider.